Hi! In this video, you will learn about the Soundy components, the manager, the Soundy puller, and the Soundy controller. Let's go! The Soundy system uses a database to store references to audio clips. You can access the database from Tools, Doozy, Control Panel, and here you look at the Soundy tab. We already have some uh, sound databases already uh, created as examples. We have music, you can also preview it, and we also have some other sounds, slides, clicks, and so on. They are available after you install it and you have all the examples um, added. You also have some settings that are mainly for the, the pooling system. Let's talk about the components. Let's enter play mode and you will notice that a soundy manager will be added to your scene automatically. And it will also have a soundy pooler att attached and also soundy controllers will be used to play the sounds. So let's enter play mode and then we'll talk about each component. Okay, so you just heard the sound. We also have some sounds here. And now let's check out the system. So the Soundy Manager is the central component of the Soundy system that binds all the sound subsystems together. It gets the sound from the Soundy database and passes them to the Soundy puller that in turn creates these Soundy controllers that actually do the work and play the sound. The Soundy Puller is a dynamic sound pooling manager of Soundy controllers. It's responsible for the automated pooling of um, Soundy controllers without the need of external management from the developer. So it will work only based on the settings that you've added right here. And now let me show you how it works. For this particular example, I have a minimum number of controllers. Let's exit play mode and let's enter again. And you see that we have three. So the system, whenever it needs a um, sound player, a soundy controller, it will look in the pool and see if one is available. If it's not, it will create one. This setting is said to have at least three controllers inside of it if they were created previously. So right now you just heard one sound. So we have one controller. Now let's uh, add another sound. And because we already had a controller, it used that, that, that one. If we have several concomitant sounds, so let's double click. Now we have two controllers in the pool. They do not get destroyed because we have a minimum number of controllers. Let's create a few more. And notice how only three will remain here. Oh, uh, I also have auto kill idle controllers. The controller idle kill duration. How long does the controller need to be idle in order to be killed? And how often should uh, the system check for them? These are the default settings. I'm going to change it and I'll say kill duration one second. So if the controller is not used for one second, it will be considered idle. And let's say kill interval again one second. And now let's press play and notice how fast the system will, uh, will react to this. So let's enter play mode with these settings. Let's uh, create some, there you go. And now you will see how they disappeared. They, they, they get destroyed. If I say, okay, I do not want to have any controllers in the pool. You just set this to zero and they will be destroyed. And when you, when you need to, to play a sound, they will be created and then they will get destroyed. Let's say I want a minimum of three or maybe two and let's play one. Now it won't get destroyed. Let's add one more and one will get destroyed. And that's it. it uh, the, the system reuses its uh, soundy controllers that are available here to play the sounds. And whenever you need more, it generates them. There you go. And then cleans them up. Of course, we recommend using the default settings and this is so that the system doesn't check too often. So every five seconds, the idle check interval, it, the, 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 the soundy puller will look for idle controllers. A controller is considered idle if 
if it hasn't been used for 20 seconds. So right now these controllers are not used, they're even disabled. If I want to use them, there you go, it's selected, it's selected them. And after they play the sound, they get added back to the pool. There you go, created some more. And now we have to wait for 20 seconds for them to not, not to get used. And every five seconds, it performs a check and you'll see that they will disappear. So just wait a bit. So we will be left with free. Yeah, there you go. And that's it for the system. So it's a manager, a sound puller, and soundy controls, the one that actually do the playing of the sound. And uh, yeah, that's it for uh, the system. It can also be used in your uh, games to play a sound at a position or to follow a target. And that should that can be achieved via scripting. Thank you very much.